I'm going to share with you today the top five affordable lenses that you can get for the Canon EOS R5. Hi guys, Ben here from Ben's Guide and welcome to today's video. Now, if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe and the notification bell because it will be wonderful to have you. So quickly before I jump into the list of today's lenses in the video, if you can think of any lenses which I actually miss out from today's list, then please add them in the comments section below because it'd be good if not just my suggestions, but actually your suggestions could help anyone out looking for lenses that's watching today's video. If you don't already have this lens, you gotta get it. For the R5, it's pretty much the cheapest lens that you can get, and it's great. Priced at around about £100 or $120, it's an absolute steal. If you already do have this lens though, you're probably not gonna wanna watch this part of the video, so you can easily skip to the next part by clicking on the video bar below. The Canon 50mm f1.8 is a brilliant little lightweight prime lens, which is one of Canon's best all-time selling lenses, and for good reason. This lens is nice and sharp all the way through, taking beautiful photos with an aperture of f1.8. You get that beautiful delicious bokeh and background blur in your images at 50mm. It's great for portraits, family snaps, pretty much any form of photography and because of its aperture, it performs very well in low light. The Near Silent STM autofocus system focuses very quickly and when shooting photos, it's also very reliable. The one small drawback of this lens is though that it doesn't come with IS, but shooting with the R5 and the R6, you get IBIS, which is going to improve your stabilization when taking photos with the lens. If you shoot video, then this lens is more than capable of capturing good video and it has great low light performance and also silent autofocus. In my opinion, this is probably the best value lens that you can get for the R5 or the R6. I will say though, to use this lens with these cameras, you need the EF to RF adapter and that should come with your camera, but if it doesn't, a link to that will be in the description of this video. I recently reviewed the Samyang 85mm f1.4 autofocus and I was really impressed with it. If you want to watch that full review of this lens, you can do that by clicking on the card that displays at the top of the video now. This lens is well made and it looks great, but most importantly, it takes beautiful photos with an aperture of f1.4, which makes it brilliant for capturing portraits. The autofocus on this lens is good reliable, and it's also quite quiet. It does not have though IS unfortunately, like the previous lens, but when you use it with the R5, as before, you get the added benefit of the in-body image stabilization. Designed for the Canon R range of mirrorless cameras, Samyang have produced this professional quality lens that can be brought for over 2,000 pound less than the RF 85 mm f1.2. Now, though this lens does take beautiful photos, it's worth mentioning that it does have quite heavy vignetting when shooting wide open at f1.4 through to f4. You can, of course, though, take care of this in Lightroom or Photoshop, so it's really not a big deal. You can pick this lens up for £479, which for an 85mm f1.4 is very cheap and over £2,000 less than the 85mm f1.2. If you're looking for a telephoto zoom lens for your Canon EOS R5 or R6, then I highly, highly recommend this. The 73 to 300 mm f4 to f5.6 is really good and it's really underestimated actually. It's quite a heavy lens when held, but it feels super robust and durable. With the fastest autofocus of any current Canon lens, this lens is just brilliant for things like action photography. Many times I've used this lens to shoot sports and fast moving subjects and it has IS built in too, which means that you get four stops on the lens and your IBIS in your R5. Image quality is also great, enabling you to capture sharp photos whatever style of photographer that you are. 
I actually don't have anything bad to say about this lens. For its price tag of £450 to $500, it's a no-brainer for anyone looking for a well-priced telephoto lens. This is my most used Canon lens. I take it everywhere with me and because of a number of reasons. First up, the design is solid. Holding this lens, you can tell Canon have built this lens with real quality in mind. With a focal length of 24 through to 105 mm, you have a lens that covers almost all bases. You're able to shoot wide open at 24 mm, which is perfect for landscapes, streets, group shots, and things like weddings. You also then have your mid range at 50 to 85 mm, which sorts your portraits out, and of course, the long end of 105 mm, which is great for a bit of extra distance work. It's not just the focal length that I love though, because this lens has stellar image quality. It also has a superbly impressive IS up to five stops, which makes it a brilliant handheld lens for shooting in low shutter speeds. If you shoot photo and video, you will find this lens to be just as good in both areas. Though with the aperture being at f4, it's not the number one low light lens on the list and it won't give you the best bokeh of the bunch either. But you still do get really good background blur to separate your subjects from your backgrounds. It's really hard to believe that this is classed as a kit lens because of how good it is. Now, because of the quality and the features, this lens is the most expensive on the list, and it comes in at £1,100, which sounds expensive, and it probably is, but it does what three lens can do in one. Just like the 50mm f1.8, this is a small prime lens which packs a big punch. The cheapest current Canon RF Prime lens has two great features which make it really desirable. The RF 35mm f1.8 has IS which when coupled with the IBIS in the Canon EOS R5 and R6 produces an amazing stable performance. This means that you can shoot handheld at very low shutter speeds and not get any camera shake. Also, this lens has a macro mode, making it really good for close-up photography and more versatile than most your other prime lenses. While this lens takes beautiful sharp photos, it's just as good for video, making it very attractive for content creators, filmmakers and hybrid shooters. I personally love this lens. It's always in my bag because it's lightweight and easy to travel with. And this lens costs around about £450 to £500. And honestly, it's worth every penny. So I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys, and that you found something valuable in the form of potentially a lens for your Canon EOS R5 or even R6. Now, remember, if you've got any suggestions of other lenses not mentioned in the video today, please leave them in the comment section below. And that will benefit anyone that's watching the video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.